Let me share with you one of the most important, profound statements I've ever heard. All your thoughts are not your own. All your thoughts are not your own. You'll say, well, whose are they? They are suggestions of the deceiver. The father of lies in the spiritual realm, just like I'm sitting here right now talking to you with a television camera. I'm actually in a studio. This studio is filled with signals from a hundred or more different sources. It could be thousands, radio waves, radio channels, other video channels filling this entire area. I don't see them. I'm not tuned in. In the spiritual realm, those signals are coming nonstop. From the spiritual realm and the principalities and powers of darkness, deception, dissension, defeat, destruction, death are firing at you. When Paul suggested in Ephesians 6 that we quench the fiery darts of the wicked, the evil one, the fiery darts, what? Arrows? No. Words, thoughts, suggestions. You know you could do that. You could take advantage of them. You can tell them that. They did it on purpose. Hate them. Hate them. Get back at them and it becomes a flame. She's beautiful. You want her. You could get her. Lust lodges, burns. Something terrible happened. Can't forget it. Depression, anxiety. Those thoughts did not originate necessarily in your own mind. They were suggestions of the evil one. Father, your son Jesus prayed very specifically for you to deliver us from the evil one. In the model prayer, you taught us to pray, lead us not into temptation because we can be led through those challenging times. We want you to be able to teach us by your word, your written word, the word that your spirit communicates to us, the word that all creation speaks to us that's so positive. We want to be led that way, not learning through the valley of temptation and wandering in the wilderness of doubt, unbelief, and fear. We want to be guided by your wisdom. Deliver us from evil. Help us take the shield of faith and quench the fiery darts of the evil one. We can stop the lies with the word of God hidden in our heart and not just carrying the word but letting the word carry us so that those suggestions from the enemy do not lodge and take a flaming, damaging, destructive effect. Deliver us from the evil one.